we since we know the mu, which is 24, same deviation six, we just go like this and then find the x. Mm. Yeah. Wait, but my teacher was like, the thing is like symmetrical on both sides. So if uh, you just yeah. find mm -hmm. it. But I believe since we are only looking at the most efficient 5% of all cars, then we are looking at only the right tail. 37. Yep, yep. Right. But then when I did this before, uh -huh. the, the A was the same thing. A was the same thing? Oh, like the chart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, if you oh. look at the, the box, you have to, that's the actual percent. So you would have to find the percentage, the value that is less than 109.78. So we have one, two, only two. 0. 0.68? Yep, 0. 0.68, right? Okay, no. 0. 0.68. Don't say that z-score is 0. 0.75. We have mm -hmm. to find the z-score for that. So this is 0. 0.68, you said? Right? Mm -hmm. So then we have to solve for x. That's it. Um, yes. Yeah. So if you if the yeah. let's go for x then x is like 0. 0.68 multiplied by six plus four. So this value represents the third quartal. And for G, describe the gas mileage of the most efficient five percent. Most efficient five cars would be gas mileage than this percent, only this percent, right? This five percent. Mm -hmm. Then how do we find this? the probability that x is less than 0.95 then we have to find this this is the z squared that we were looking for 1.1 8 7 9 0. 0.8790 this one yeah. so this tells you this is the probability that the z score is less than 1.167 mm -hmm. this one right so since we know we are wondering about this this is what we're trying to find right so that's why we do one minus c the probability that z score is greater than or equal to 1.167 right mm -hmm. yeah and we just found this one here